Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest version of the Vivaldi web browser for desktop version 5.3 is now available, which started rolling out a short while ago today on the 1st of June 2022. Now there's quite a lot going on in this latest stable release, which according to Vivaldi now gives you full control over your toolbar layouts with editable toolbars, a new option to easily reset your default browser settings, and you can also now sync your different search engines across your different devices. Now, once the update has been applied, the browser version and build will now be sitting at 5.3.2679.33. And because the browser is based on the open source Chromium platform, it will have also been upgraded now to the latest Chrome version, which is 102.0.5005.72. Now, Chrome version 102 includes numerous important security updates and fixes so even if you're not interested in any new features just make sure and double check your browsers up to date just to get and include those all important chromium platform security fixes and how you do this on windows is you just head to your menu help check for updates and if it hasn't done so already that will update you to the latest version and build now just to take a quick look at, at these new uh, features the editable toolbars um, let's you select what buttons now appear on a specific and in a specific toolbar and you can make those toolbars fit your unique needs um, using the customization um, options now in the new toolbar editor. Now as an example I'm going to head to my navigation toolbar, right click, edit, customize toolbar and here we have the new toolbar editor and if we click on the menu we have different um, options and buttons available for all the different toolbars in the browser. So navigation toolbar, status toolbar, mail toolbar, mail composer toolbar, mail messaging toolbar, and then command chains, which we will take a look at shortly. So um, each uh, toolbar setting has different buttons and options specific to that relevant toolbar that you can customize. Now, as an example for navigation toolbar, I'm just going to drag downloads to the toolbar. Click on done when I'm finished and there I have my downloads button in the toolbar and then I can right click edit, remove from toolbar and then as another example I can click to my status toolbar, edit, customize toolbar and then you can see the relevant toolbar appears and as an example I'm going to drag the clock and there I have my clock in my toolbar and for each of the different toolbars you can also reset that toolbar to default so that's a nice handy option just to reset everything back to normal and default if that is something you would like to do. Now regarding the command chains uh, on the toolbar, so if we just head to that, um, this is going to help you place your different command chains and even your custom chains that you've created and use them as buttons and place th those buttons on the toolbar for quick access. So as an example, I'm going to take toggle full screen and reader mode pop that into my navigation bar, click on done and there you can see I can enter that full screen and reader mode just as a quick handy button and shortcut and then once again I can just go edit, remove from toolbar so you get the idea. So that's the new uh, toolbar editor that's rolled out now in version 5.3 and then there's also a new reset button and if we go to our menu again and settings you will see now that every uh, uh, settings page has got a reset settings button, reset general settings to default. So you can set everything back to default in uh, that specific page. Appearance as another example, reset appearance settings to default, themes. So you get the idea. You can re you got this reset button on all the different settings pages that you can reset everything back to default. And I think because there's so many options in the browser, that's a nice handy addition where you can just once again just put everything back to normal and reset it to default. And then the final new change worth mentioning is you can sync your different search engines across your different devices. So the browser now can sync your search engines across all um, your Vivaldi installation installations so that's on your desktop computers as an example your mobile devices and as many of you know even in cars now from Polestar and Renault and then over and above these new features uh, version 5.3 comes with a whole list of um, and numerous bug fixes and and improvements and those uh, bug fixes and improvements too many to mention in this video are mainly 
improvements to the um, the calendar and mail beta uh, in the uh, your your mail and your calendar beta that's included in the browser. Most of those fixes are pertaining to calendar and mail beta. So that's and um, what's new in version 5.3 and the new toolbar editor um, is now available, which would be the key highlight for this latest release to the browser. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.